Hi and welcome to Elite Mind Academy. This is AI in Power BI series and I'm Paweł Podasiński. Today with me is Paweł Ekczernakowski, our data scientist. So you're going to talk about how data science enter, enters Power BI. Paweł, what are we going to talk about today? We'll talk about uh, Q&A uh, in Power BI. So basically, why, how can we create a report uh, just by typing our, our question in natural language. Wow. So watch this episode. Pavel is going to show you how to ask questions and build the report just by asking questions using natural language. Enjoy. Here we are in Power BI Desktop uh, October edition. Okay. Uh, our data uh, that I will be asking about is uh, related with customers uh, data of a banking institution from a direct marketing uh, campaign. We have information about uh, demographic characteristic of every uh, customer, uh, their um, other banking products and the information. I hope, uh, hope we are GDPR compliant, Pavel, but I don't see any names here. So uh, very, very anonymous people here. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay. Uh, so there's no problem with GDPR. Yeah. Uh, is, th is that something meaningful for us? Uh, yes, definitely. It's the most uh, important variable for us. Okay. Uh, subscribe that indicates whether a specific customer decided to subscribe a deposit or okay. not. Okay. So that's, uh, that also defines our good customers. Yes, Fine. definitely. So what are we going to do actually? Uh, actually, we're, we're going to build a report uh, only by asking a question uh, in English. Okay, so uh, first of all, let's let's try to point out how we can ask those questions. There are two places, as uh, I remember. Yes, there are two places. So so, one is yeah. a button ask a question. Yeah, so you have you have this in the uh, toolbar. This is number one, and number yes. two in the visualization pane. Yes, uh, to be it's precise here. Q and A uh, visual. Yeah, brand new. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, so let's start with ask a question. Yes, we we get a example question that we can we can ask, or we can ask our yeah. own question about our data. So, Pavel, where where are those questions coming from? I mean, uh, we 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 have what we have in right now is just a data model. So are those uh, are those uh, words coming from the model? Yes, there, there's only the words are coming from the model uh, yeah. now, uh, and it's yeah. uh, only choose by Power BI. Okay, so we have very basic questions just to start up with, with ask the question ask the question uh, feature. But we are going to do something uh, more with that. We're, be, we're, we're going to build a, a, the whole report with just uh, asking questions, right? Yeah, all right. So uh, the first question we can, we can ask is about how many customers yeah. are in our data set. So we have a data set called bank customers. Uh, actually, I, I could even use uh, the single world customers probably. Um, and to, to calculate the, their number, we should probably state count or, or we, can, we can also say count customers or something like that, just to show the number, right? Yes. So what are we going to do next in order to bring the visual, just uh, the card that will state the number of customers uh, to my report? We can just click uh, the button, turn this Q&A result into a standard visual. Okay, so let's do that. And we have a standard card visual. <laughs> I'm going to put it right here in my left pane and I'm going to reformat it. We have a ready to use preformatted hidden visual that will just make our uh, our visual more and more uh, appeal. And let's uh, rename the data label because it really doesn't describe well the what we are going to describe here. So uh, let's call it uh, number of customers maybe yeah okay so another question right uh, yes uh, we know how many customers uh, we are uh, are in our database yeah uh, so we would like to know how many of them subscribe the deposit yeah, sure so let's show customers uh, or we should do anything else let's display average um, 
Maybe uh, uh, there's a uh, zero and one uh, yeah. in our subscribe. Yeah, let's be smart. <laughs> uh, so if we sum up uh, the subscribe column, we will yeah. get the number of customers done okay. that decide to, to subscribe so, deposit. Uh, so sum. Let's let's say uh, show subscribed sum. maybe, right? Subscribed, yeah. Yeah, that's the number probably. That's that's yeah. the easiest way to show the subscribed customers as they count. Okay, so let's again turn this into visual and put it into my pane here. And again, I will just uh, reformat it a bit to make sure that it uh, that it fits my layout. Okay, so I have information about how many customers I have, how many sub how many of them subscribe to to deposit. Now let's do something more sophisticated, a chart. Yeah. Let's do a chart. So, so again, again, we are asking questions. Yes, uh, so we have information about demographic, jobs, age, and so on. Yeah. So maybe it will uh, show average of subscribe. Okay, average subscribed. Uh, by job, so it by will. Job. So normally, if I ask just a question, uh, average subscribed, it will show me the percentage of the subscribed uh, customers versus the whole number of customers. Uh, but if I ask about uh, subscribed by job, it will display something like this. So yeah, it looks pretty, pretty like, pretty, pretty like required. So let's turn it into visual and let's reformat it a bit. We have already prepared. Small hidden visual right here. Oh, sorry, <laughs> it could be tricky. Yeah, selected and formal painter here. Let's do it. Thank you. Yes. So, so we can see, for example, students. Yes, student. Uh, Twenty nine uh, percent. Yeah. Just, uh, we can students. see the actual actual numbers. So yes. nine nine hundred thirty eight students and over two hundred sixty or almost two hundred seventy subscribe. Well, nice. Yes. This is the biggest group in our uh, in our customer database. Okay, let's do next. Let's do the next question. Yes. So um, the next uh, it would be interesting to uh, see uh, what is the um, average of subscribed uh -huh. uh, by education, for example. Okay. So let's add, so let's add education to that. Is uh, education influence uh, yeah. how many people decided to to? T um... Let's let's use. I know I know that we are able to uh, define what what's what's going what the the data what the, the chart type will be. So yes. let's choose maybe a column sorry column chart uh, instead of instead of this. Uh, bar chart as, as uh, chosen by default. So let's do like this one. Let's turn it into visual and now we just uh, reformat it to fit, to fit the, the layout. So we have uh, already created four visuals. I can play with that. I can see students. I can see, for example, students crossed with uh, that theory. So I can use cross uh, cross highlighting and I can see the numbers of students that are tertiary uh, that subscribe also. So, wow, that's a piece of analytics as well. And uh, yeah, we're going to ask another question, I guess. Hey, yes, we can. Uh, we know that um, subscribed means that someone subscribed a deposit. Yeah. So maybe we can show average of deposit. Yeah, okay, let's try it. By marital Let's status. try it, Power BI is so smart. Let's see the average of deposit. Deposit, yes. Deposit. Well, actually, <clears throat> you see this. Uh, yeah, this is this red. This red underline. Actually, I can define colors, but uh, so far I see the red color here. Uh, so Power BI doesn't know what deposit means for 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 this analytics. So what can yes. we do about it? So we can uh, change it in our data model. Okay. So let's move to data model. Definitely. And in bank customers, uh, we can add any yeah, so, similar words to, to... Yeah, so first of all, we have to unhide the properties. So if you have it, if you have it not visible, oh, actually, you can right click on the column and uh, that probably show up. 
yes. or even left click. And yeah. we have synonyms. Uh, as subscribed, we have synonyms yeah. subscribed. So what should I do in order to make deposit meaningful word for, for Power BI? Uh, we should add deposit synonyms. So just use comma statements. Yes. Okay. And deposit. Okay, deposit. Let's try it. Um, unfortunately, I after after switching to, to the report view, I have probably to uh, actually, actually I don't have to do anything. Wow, that's yeah. that's good. That's fast. Actually, I didn't do anything, and deposit is now uh, under, understood by Power BI. Whoa, how 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 come? And um, let's uh, let's uh, maybe display this deposit by marital something. status. Yeah, marital marital status maybe. Uh, Marty. Maybe let's let's see suggestions. Bye. Marty. Tiao. Yeah, this is sorry. And um, yeah, that's that's all probably for my analytics. Let's uh, just repaint it. And of course, I could play with the titles, which shouldn't state average of subscribe. But but, I, but we can see that the report is built just with uh, Q and A, uh, and that's really powerful. But uh, we we should show uh, show one more thing about uh, Q and A, right? Yes, as far as I remember, there's there's one more thing. Like uh, if I display this Q and A visual. Yeah, we have. Uh, There's one button at the bottom, at, at the top right corner, yes, which is settings, which can be uh, easily uh, omitted. But this is a very important button, I guess. Yeah, so settings. Very, very powerful. Yeah. So let's move on. So first of all, the, the information that uh, we should provide. We already loaded this uh, data model to Power BI service. It is, and this is important information because, uh, for example, if I click review questions. I will see questions that were asked to this data set via via Power BI service, right? Yeah, right. So let's let's see uh, what people were asking for, and I can see, well, uh, actually not not uh, all all the questions here they contain some uh, misspells. Somebody misspelled bank, uh, B A K, and is missing. So let's let's fix it. We can fix yeah. it right away. Uh, so the first question, I can just uh, go to this question, move to the word that is misspelled, and and correct it to the yeah. to something meaningful, then submit it. And we have for result. Oh my. This is this is so nice. So yeah, I actually can turn questions into something that works. Uh, wow, that's something that's something uh, very good. And um, also, I can, uh, for example. Q and A. Yeah, our, our yes. So, Pavel, what are we going to ask about? Uh, we want to know who is a good customer for us. For oh example. my, good customer! What? This is so obvious question, right? Yes, but could Power BI know who is good customers for <laughs> Actually, us? Actually, no. It underlines in red uh, the the word "good." So let's submit it, this question anyway. Yeah. And now Power BI has another question, actually. Uh, it's, it, it's, it, it asks me to state what does it mean to, uh, to have good customers. So for us, good customer is a customer who has subscribe yeah, ask attributes subscribe equals it's one. One. Yeah. Right. Let's save it. So now, from now on, if I'm asking about good customers, Power BI will treat it as subscribe equals to one. And uh, actually, I can manage the terms that I uh, put into Power BI. So uh, yeah, I can delete it if if, if good it doesn't mean uh, subscribe equals one anymore. Wow, that's something. So uh, let's try it actually, uh, and let's let's uh, move on to, to, to Q and A again, and uh, show good customers. Does it work? Count. It should state like 570, 5,000, 5, 5,300. Yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, we we just we just uh, we just uh, were a teacher for Power BI Q and A yeah. feature. Nice. Okay, uh, so let's switch to Power BI service for a second to show where Power, where Q and A is um, is uh, handled with within Power BI service. So whenever you have a data set in Power BI, and this is the AI in Power BI data set. 
you can al you can always uh, go into the settings and in settings you can for example uh, specify featured q a questions will show that will show up in uh, q a visual uh, whenever you whenever you turn it on and, and uh, ask your questions in uh, while building report in Power BI Desktop or in the service. So actually, there is another place for you know playing with uh, Q&A if you're required to. So uh, yeah, that's Q&A uh, in October yeah. in October edition of Power BI Desktop and in the service. So yeah, Pavel, what do you think? Yeah, I think it's a very interesting feature. It's getting it's, powerful, right? Yeah, you, you, you could build the whole report just yeah. by uh, using natural language. Definitely. So just just to just to make sure that that uh, that we we stand state state it out, uh, you can use English or Spanish, and whatever you want to uh, whenever you want to uh, play with Q and A, make sure that you turn on any uh, preview features, right? So uh, Spanish language support for Q&A is uh, in, the pre in preview and you should, you should turn it on as well as uh, Q&A Live Connect, uh, which is also a preview, I believe starting from now on uh, in October. So yeah, uh, a lot of new, new stuff in Q&A in Power BI. Yep. Thanks. So, as you can see, we can create a poll report uh, just by typing our question in English or Spanish as preview now. And uh, keep in mind that uh, the better model, uh, the better data model we build, uh, the better uh, answer to our question we will get as a report. Try to build reports using Q&A and uh, share your results. Thank you for watching. Thank you.